Hello guys, this is Arun from ASP Designs. Today we are going to talk about the GTX 1066 GP graphics card. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1066 GB sits at the top of mid-range graphics card. I have got this card for around 21,000 rupees from Amazon India. It features twice as much memory as its little sibling 3GB variant and also have slightly beefier GPU with 1280 CUDA cores compared to 1152 in the cheaper model. With a stock GPU clocked at 15 or 6 MHz and boosting up to 17 or 8 MHz, in fact the latter figure is little conservative. Our Zotac sample is happily boosted to 1800 MHz during our benchmarks. The temperature is stayed under 70 degrees Celsius. The 6 GB GDDR5 memory runs at 2002 MHz which is 8 GHz effectively and it is attached to a 192 bit wide memory interface. The 6GB GTX 1060 uses the same Pascal architecture as NVIDIA's powerful GTX 1070 and 1080 card. So we slotted the card with high expectation. We aren't disappointed. Not only that card achieved full marks in 1080p test and it's also excellent in our 1440p test. The GTX 1066 GB held its own, achieving solid FPS in 1080p ultra settings and even staying at 60 FPS in ultra settings. Power consumption was great too. The peak draw was 258W from our system with a 6GB card installed, 15W higher than the 3GB card installed and fair bit lower than the 290W we saw from AMD Stradion RX 480. The prices for GTX 1066GB and the RX 480 8GB house around the same depending upon your region. VRAM doesn't necessarily translate into higher performance. Both GTX 1063 GB and the RX 484 GB perform slightly worse than their higher VRAM counterparts. It's mostly not because of the amount of VRAM. Having more VRAM doesn't elevate video memory bottlenecks when gaming in higher resolution than 1080p, such as 1440p. Modded games with higher resolution texture packs may require upwards of 5 GB of VRAMs. There is no certain way to know how much video memory game actually uses, as all current available software methods show the amount of requested memory, not what is actually used. So the application may in fact request 6 GB of VRAM, but in reality it uses only 3.5 GB of VRAM. In the long run, the main performance difference between the 4 GB and the 8 GB RX 480 would be clock speeds at both card uses the same graphics processing unit. The GPU on the card with 4 GB just has a lower core clock. The difference the verdict is that Nvidia's GeForce GTX 1066 GB is our favorite graphics card for around 21,000 rupees. It managed comfortably playable frame rates in all of our games at 1080p and almost all of them at 1440p. The extra memory also gives the 6GB model an edge over its 3GB counterpart in very demanding games. To be sure, you are paying a quite a premium or 3GB card, which will serve you fine in most games. While the 6GB card is quicker overall, it's less compelling in terms of raw bank for the buck. The extra cash you may worth in investment in the future. If you want the best card in the league, then the 6GB NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 is the one to buy. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe.